All right, gentlemen, well, first and foremost, I'm going to say I'm excited for you to be here at Comic-Con. More importantly, the fact that you were talking about toys and collectibles before we even started this. I mean, is that where you guys bring this all from? Is, is this where the base of this love comes from? Um, well, I mean, the graphic novel itself, you know, there were so many layers for it to be um, complete. I mean, from the writer bringing in, in D. Scott, Will, uh, Ben, who created this amazing uh, work right here first, first of all. And just being able to immerse ourselves in Comic Con culture, whether being in New York Comic Con or LA Comic Con, it just taught us a lot about supporting and respecting this world. Um, so it's just a natural transition of going from just being a, a, a lover of, of collectibles and appreciating that time period to now doing something great like uh, partner, being part of Marvel. Now to speak to the time period itself, this feels more like a joints and jam kind of time period of Black Eyed Peas than you know the flashier versions of today. So do you guys feel that way too, or what do you feel like this is time wise for you guys? Uh, so the story takes place. It's a time period in the 1980s mm -hmm. where hip hop actually launched. If you think about how it like influenced and impacted culture. Um, so in the 80s, a lot of stuff was happening. Crack was introduced into our inner cities. Uh, systematically weapons ended up there and 10 years after that the three strike law was put in place and the result of that is African Americans and Latino fill up our prison systems so <clears throat> that's where this book is uh, you know painting the story around heightened and obviously fantasy with zombies um, but the zombie is a crackhead and uh, just like the Iran Contra scandal where the conspiracy theory is that that is, you know, linked to how drugs ended up in our communities by allowing Nicaraguan airplanes to smuggle stuff into LAX area and the freeways, uh, dumping out drug paraphernalia around projects as the center of the story. And we tell the tale of New York coming to LA um, just to spread hip hop and they're confronted with Crips and Bloods and realize that there's a zombie outbreak in their community, and that's actually what happened in the 80s, right? But they're called crackheads, and they have to fight to get their community back. <clears throat> and they realize that it goes deeper than just, you know, the Crips and the Bloods and the folk and the gangbangers selling drugs, that it's a shapeshifter alien that has plagued the African American community since the killing of the Black Panther Party, the assassination of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, and slavery to begin with. So. They realize that they're fighting a deeper spiritual warfare and they bond together and, and do the impossible and defeat. Uh, we, I don't want to tell you the story, but. Around six years ago, I created a screenplay called um, Masters of the Sun. And I wanted to turn that screenplay into a graphic novel <clears throat> only because I wanted to have like. A beautiful book and uh, you there's no beautiful screenplays it's a white piece of paper right so I wanted to you know make it a collectible so I reached out to this dude by the name of Ben and Ben connected me with Damien Scott <clears throat> and we took that screenplay and turned it into this graphic novel so I went out and researched uh, me and my uh, the head of our graphics team Eddie Axley went out and researched and found found awesome paper stock then we went to um, all the Japanese collector stores and found awesome books. And so I told them to research the places that printed these books. So we went out and found the printer. Um, and Damon, Damon Scott led us on like, you know, you know, the how-tos on how to take this printer to do a traditional graphic novel, but in a heightened, you know, collectible way. So we, then we had to, after we printed it, we had to go take it to a gilding place. And I think it was... Uh, Detroit is where we gilded the book. Um, and then from there, I showed Tabu, like, yo, Tab, look, four years later, after, you know, so six years ago we wrote the screenplay, four years ago we started turning it into a graphic novel, up until, like, uh, last year, I'm like, yo, Tab, it's finished, look. He was like, yo, Will, we should take this to Marvel. So I'm like, yo, Tab, that's not realistic, dude. Like, I know that sounds like an amazing thing, but think about it. Wu-Tang Clan should have had a book first. He was like, yo, well, you never know, bro. Let's just ha have a meeting. So we went, showed them the world that we built and all the different layers. So there's dimensions to this, other ways to experience the story that are already built.
So today we're here at, Mar uh, at Comic-Con with Marvel launching Masters of the Sun, the first installment. There's other layers to experience this world. We showed all that stuff to Marvel early, uh, last year. Um, and since then, those experiences have been fine-tuned. And uh, we go deep, we go deep, we go deep. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. Yeah, there are layers. There are layers to this, uh, to the um, to the comic book, and then also when you ask, um, how, how did it feel? Is it like joints and jam or falling up? The the music bed feels like that. You know, we we went back to the old essence of just experimentation, and I think it's like one of the best um, album or project. That, that we have because we took time from the subject matters uh, line for line and it's just uh, had that excitement you know like our first album you, you, you don't know what's going to happen right but you just have the the motivation to do so in your whole life. And yeah your whole life so and we had time um, we had time to to make this album so it feels like behind the front again you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. on how we created it Yeah, so we wanted to just tell the tale of what's happened to our communities. And what's happened to our communities is beyond us. It's not about me, App, or Taboo, and the personas that people know as the Black Eyed Peas. And it's not from an arrogant point of view, like, but we're successful now, so we, we superheroes. Like, nah, like, let's get back down to earth and write about our communities. And the people that are out fighting the fight are heroes, right? So Rakim was a hero to us. You know, Grandmaster Flash, these guys were heroes to us. So to us, those are our, you know, Slick Rick is our hero. Karis one. one that's my hero. So really we're writing about these guys that gave us the, the vision to make music our careers. So it's not about us. It's about, like, those guys, those pioneers. And, and, and also it was a great way to, uh, to create content, new form of content for us, you know, and kind of push the envelope. Uh, with all the different layers that we spoke on earlier, which we're not going to touch on, but right. but there it's coming. So uh, you talked, uh, someone else already posted a little bit about some music being coinciding with this as well. So we know that's mm -hmm. Yeah, the music is a layer. Like there's dimensions to this. Like Crazy Legs is a hero to us. So you know he he told me like this is dancing. That ballet stuff you thought no no this is our dancing. So Crazy Legs and Rocksteady, those guys were heroes. They, they kept us off the streets, and they kept us, like, wanting to, you know, express ourselves and fight w through dance. So, you know, so the music is a layer because we want people to dance. We want people to, you know, to learn about what's happening in the world, pay attention to what's happening in the world through song and storytelling. And, you know, we hit all the hip-hop elements. So, so for those that are, like, true hip-hop, you know, um, People in the hip-hop community, you know that hip-hop is graffiti. You know that hip-hop is breakdancing. You know that hip-hop is MCing and DJing. You know that hip-hop is language, right? So we hit every single element here. So the graph, Damon Scott being a graph artist, the, uh, the music, um, the storytelling, the, 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 the attention to community and, you know, fight the power. Chuck D is a hero. Public Enemy are heroes to us. You know, and it's unfortunate that you don't have, you have it now with the new kit. Like, you know, thank you, Kendrick. Thank you, J. Cole. All the folks that are, you know, going out there and, and making hip-hop about something again. Because for a while, it, was, it wasn't really much about nothing.